who might be more receptive to these ideas you're trying to of course of course uh, as to what political changes is problematic but they are committed to to some sort of political change right. and the problem is the no, not a problem but you know uh, there is a diverse understanding of what political change is uh, that that's not that's not necessarily bad that's good but in terms of forging a strategy forging a program in terms of how that will take shape is what where the challenge lies but that, that that's the thing so we don't we can't really uh, we nurture a group of people who won't be apathetic towards politics sure. who won't be apathetic towards and the idea uh, is not to get problems. them to think alike but yes. they get them to think to critically get them, to get them to think that change is necessary right. and and what sort of change to keep debating among, among people to keep dialoguing and keep listening to people mm. about what change is needed where's your inspiration inspiration my it's the, the inspiration comes uh, from the community that i come from i come from jaffna uh, being part of the community the young people that i uh, work with in my community that i have dialogue with my community they are the primary uh, source of uh, inspiration and and largely and my hope. group of friends but hope is a difficult subject i i i've really uh, i really don't know where where hope comes i'm i myself uh, am losing hope losing hope in that sense you know every single discussion that i have facilitated with young people on the subject of governance uh, or ethnic conflict has been uh, has been a vein down to saying you know what can we do about this is there anything at all that we can do about this and hope issue and you try to get young people to think no we need to keep our focus we need to keep our hope we need to keep hope alive uh, to quote jesse jackson from some of the speeches that he made uh, during the presidential campaign in the 80s uh but but you know th- those are still in the vacuum why you need to show young people something concrete for them to believe that change is possible uh so uh, and that that's again is part of larger picture so, so the issue you... is the issue is for youth activists is largely these issues that they that they talk about within their own circles having a larger ramification and what can be done about larger the larger ramifications to which they have little access to or little uh, control of for these overarching problems how do you keep relating to it how do you find this sort of source for hope uh, and how do you link all of this up so, and so still still engage in activism would you, still engage in would you go around uh, uh, would you see yourself rather as as a as a as a sri lankan obama saying yes we can i still can't do that i i still can't be an and obama and if the, if you know i'm 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 pushing you here if yeah. if you yourself are losing hope um where does hope spring from yeah that that that's a constant uh, sort of uh, thing that i'm frightened about myself in terms of what i can articulate people tend to call me more of a cynic now than yeah. than a real uh, you know hope speech giver uh, but you know b- when i get involved with spaces try to give these feel good speeches to young people to see you know try to give them uh, sound bites that will make them feel good and you know let's keep but going. is it about feeling good uh, or is it about challenging them to think critically you feel challenging them if there was no I, i guess the question is if there was one you know if there was a central idea you wanted to animate the youth with what would that be no if if you if you use the word challenging uh, them to think critically if you really think critically of the issues then you definitely in this country have to be a cynic so is that really what you want to do uh, so if uh, ch- ch- thinking critically and if really people get uh, exposed to the issues what they'll become is cynics uh, so yeah so that that's part of a problem as well but what you hope to do is uh, when you the problem is this we try to give hope we tell people that activism is needed you need to take action whereas we ourselves don't really know where the change can happen and that's that's a central problem with youth activism but part of what the act, i mean to, to end on a hopeful note if that's possible part of what you've been exploring is actually where that where that can be and how that can be done yeah right so, uh, so generally you taking them out of apathy sure. would make them angry and would can that anger anger be productively channeled mm. that is what we explore what we need to get people is to get unsettled uh, from their from their environments if we are doing that then they have started thinking they are getting a bit angry and hopefully if they are critically thinking they won't get their anger uh, get into violence hopefully they will try to think of how to productively do it and and one way of productively doing it for most people has been to leave the country and do something productively elsewhere but again uh, getting that mix correct in terms of wanting to contribute to your society and wanting to convert that anger into some productive positive activism uh, guru it's been a pleasure speaking with you and i and i do really wish you all the very best in your work thank you thanks cheers thank you